guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 17 of the Tottenham career mode and we are straight into the action in this one. We've got an FA Cup game away at Craven Cottage against Fulham and uh, they're a decent side. Fulham, we've played them in the league earlier on this year. They gave us uh, a really decent game so hopefully we can uh, we can progress through in the FA Cup and Freddie Guarin gets us off to a fantastic start and the move just kind of opened up that space in the middle, that little pocket in between midfield and defence. You can see him running into it now, making that fantastic run in. First touch is spectacular and the finish is just as good and that is a fantastic start for us away where you might expect us to be on the back foot and have Fulham coming towards us but they were very much on the defensive in the opening stages we're actually going to get a second goal here Soldado just peels away from the defender just doesn't read the turn inside and uh, it's a fantastic finish really really well class cut back across the goalkeeper into that far bottom corner and I was really really impressed with Soldado so far this season that is his 18th goal in all competitions this year and he almost got a 19th there diving in at the uh, the the fumble from Stekelenburg but unfortunately couldn't get there but we went in at half time with that 2-0 lead confident of pushing forward in the second half get, grabbing maybe a couple of extra goals and uh, making sure that we progress through to the next round but it was actually Fulham that were going to get themselves back in the game Brian Ruiz with fantastic positioning if you go back and look at that as Tarap gets the ball played through to him he holds his run pulls back off the defenders leaves himself that little bit of space which is enough to find the finish into the bottom corner and then literally two minutes later Tarap again whips the ball in from that left hand side and it's Berbatov that goes up with a header and out of nowhere really they just come with two goals in two minutes and they're back on level terms and it was down to us to try and catch them on a counter attack and that is exactly what we did Christian Eriksen working the ball out nicely to Eric Lamella hasn't seen too much of first team opportunity so far and I was really unfortunate that uh, he wasn't able to put the ball into the back of the net there maybe if he was a little bit more confident and they had had a little bit more of a run in the first team he might have been able to pop that in the top corner but as you can see it did finish 2-2 so it is going to go to a replay but they were the only two shots of the game from Fulham and they were their goals so we're uh, disappointed but we'll come back in the replay hopefully we can pick ourselves up a victory one shock as you can see the third result from bottom Sheffield United in League One picking up a 2-0 home victory against Arsenal not sure how strong a team Arsenal will have fielded but um, definitely a shock result there so as you can see the uh, the replay has been scheduled for the next week two games against Hull and Norwich have been moved forward as well as the one against Everton which is oh, it's just so frustrating so many games in such a short space of time and that believe it or not is actually going to get worse in the next episode but let's uh, cut straight back to the action then playing a different team playing a, a rotation team against Fulham because it is so soon after that initial game and uh, Jackson Martinez is making his first team debut in this one his first start and the first chance falls to Fulham this one was more of a nervy affair after having played each other a couple of days before uh, we kind of knew how each other was going to play and it was very much stalemate in the first opening stages and it wasn't until later on in the game towards half time that a couple of chances came either side's way but we went in at half time at nil nil and now we were really going to have to freshen things up but it was them that made the change to try and do that and bringing on Adel Tarrap who of course was instrumental in both of their goals in the previous game but it was in fact our left hand side that, uh, that brought the first chance in the second half Andros Townsend pushing down the left hand side decent clearance but Sandro is going to pick out Jackson Martinez on the edge of the box tries to find that bottom corner decent effort but a great save from the goalkeeper down to his left hand side and Stekelenberg is going to keep us at bay once again but Townsend still working that left hand side very very well plays a nice one two with Gilfie Sigurdsson cuts inside the defender and again it's a nice shot across the goalkeeper into that bottom corner maybe that's a weakness for Stekelenberg something he can work on in the training ground but but I really don't care because that's put us 1-0 up and we are in front once again against Fulham this time of course at home in the replay but they were actually going to put the ball into the back of the net later on in the second half but as you can see it was uh, blatantly offside Ruiz just a couple of yards off great step from the defender actually as the ball was played in and uh, we were able to catch him offside and we're pretty sure had the uh, the whistle not gone Brad Frudel would have comfortably saved that anyway but uh, we were going to get so many chances at the end of the game Jermaine Defoe is going to have that first effort there we're into the four minutes of uh, stoppage time at the end of the second half that's one effort the ball comes into Townsend tries to spectacular it's well blocked but they can't clear their lines properly it falls to Sandro who's going to show great feet to play and Danny Rose running from deep another great shot from distance and this time Stekelenberg makes his save and pushes it out from corner but rather than opportunities from open play we're going to have some opportunities from dead ball situations so so close they're hitting the bar Kapu's going to pick the ball up on the edge of the box falls to Defoe sets up Andros Townsend again for another effort and Stekelenberg is on hand once again to make another save and that's what six seven eight chances and now we're actually going to get a couple more so Goodson's going to take the corner again up goes Tuates another good save from Stekelenberg let's have another corner the ball is just relentless here just 
wave after wave of white attack on Fulham's goal. Up goes Kapu. This time it is safe and a final chance for Stekelenburg to keep hold of the ball. And that is how the game is going to end. That is exactly where the final whistle went. And just those last few moments just kind of showed our dominance as a, as a team over Fulham. And that dominance we had shown throughout the entirety of the previous 180 minutes, if you take into account both games. But, of course, that whole game was moved uh, moved forward. It was after the international break, actually. So uh, um, I played the same team, though, that, that beat Fulham because uh, we've got obviously a couple of games coming up against Norwich and Everton that we're going to need a lot of players fresh for. But as you can see, we're seventh in the league with a game in hand on Newcastle above us and just a point behind both them and Liverpool. So with a win, we could uh, get ourselves back in contention in those European spots if we were able to pick that up. But Hull were the team that started the brightest. They were all over me the first few minutes and Danny Graham's going to play a lovely ball through to uh, to Robbie Brady here. Gets his, uh, gets his shot away. It's not the best of shots, so it's pretty, pretty tame. And uh, it's an easy collect for Brad Fried. But they were going to be loose with possession here on the uh, on the edge of the own box Jackson Martinez is going to have another effort again looking for that finesse shot to the far corner like he did against Fulham this time the shot was blocked and Gilfie Sigurdsson is going to whip in the ball up goes Kirikez it doesn't quite get the uh, the contact on it defender beats him to it but Moreno has another snapshot unfortunately the uh, the save keeps the ball out of the back of the net and the uh, defender is able to clear it but Rossini has showed great strength down this right hand side to whip that ball in Robbie Brady again finds himself in the free space in the box gets a decent shot away this time Brad Friedel does have to work for it but still it's a pretty decent save and a pretty comfortable save up towards that right hand corner and uh, we were on the attack in the second half looking to uh, to get that win that we so desperately need right now in the league and uh, Jackson Martinez plays through Danny Rose a lovely whip in fantastic header from Gilfie Sigurdsson really really well placed across into that bottom corner but unfortunately he is just off offside so that goal is going to be marked off or chalked off and uh, we're still going to have to keep going if we want to get the uh, the three points in this one. Jermaine Defoe came on for Jackson Martinez in the second half drawing a good save at the goalkeeper there heading towards that top left hand corner and it was a good save from the goalkeeper to keep us at bay and then Brad Friedel is all over the place there and we are so so fortunate that that one ended up going wide into the side netting but in the last minute now Hull loose in possession and we pressured them so hard we were hounding them all over the pitch for the majority of the second half because we know how important that win is Defoe nicks it off the defender smashes it into the back of the net and we have absolutely stolen those three points Hull hit the, the, uh, the self-destruct button give away possession on the edge of their own box in stoppage time and that is how the game is going to finish so we're going to take the three points from that a vital three points and of course finally eventually progression through to the fifth round of the FA Cup as well and that win has moved us up above Liverpool though they do still do have that game in hand but we're back into contention in the European spots and uh, we're only uh, a couple of points behind Arsenal although again they do have a game in hand but we're a lot closer to those European uh, positions that we have been in previous times if we can continue that run of form keep putting wins back to back to back and then maybe in those 13 games we have remaining we can push on and get a Champions League spot which is what the board want from us at the end of this first season so uh, that is going to bring this particular episode to a close guys so thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind if you haven't already do feel free to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything in this series and of course the pac-man pack only road to glory series as well there will be a link to subscribe in the description an annotation on screen over the subscribe button and as well if you did miss the previous episode there will be an annotation on screen over the play button and if you don't already follow me on twitter as well at chesnoy gaming been gaining quite a few followers over there as well so uh, do come over and follow me there and you'll uh, you'll keep up to date there with everything that goes on with my channel as well so uh, it's all go here on uh, Chesnoy Gaming at the minute but thank you very much for watching guys and I will see you next time